Namaste. So day three of Yin Yoga to connect within is about letting go of self-judgment. We are often our biggest critic and it's all about holding on and once we determined to let it all out, we're going to receive a new sense of freedom and joy. So let's come on to our mat. Today's class is designed to use acupressure and yin yoga to help us release any stagnant energy. So let's set an intention. Let's bring our palms over our knees and roll your shoulders back. And repeat the affirmation. I accept myself exactly as I am without judgment. I accept myself exactly as I am without judgment. I accept myself exactly as I am without judgment. And then with a gentle smile, open your eyes and we're going to cross our arms. We're going to press down on the top of our shoulders. Now the top of your shoulders on the peak of the trapezius is gallbladder 21. Now if you are pregnant or you think you are pregnant, you can skip this acupressure point because that helps to descend chi and energy and depending on your term, it might promote labor. For others, let's just press down and I'm going to invite you to bring whatever that you are ready to let go of. It could be self-judgment, something that you're holding on to, something that you have done in the past or said in the past. By pressing these acupressure points, it helps you to release all that mental stress you've been holding on to. And then releasing, take a deep breath in, deep breath out. <sighs> Let's come into a standing forward fold. So let's start by bending into our knees, fingertips onto the floor, and then gently, slowly straightening your legs. So if your knees are slightly bent, that is absolutely okay. You can also bring your hands on your shins. If you have blocks, put your hands on the blocks. And shift your weight towards your toes, allow your head to release. Dangling is an inversion, so if you have hypertension, you can do a seated forward fold. So now just think of all the things that you want to let go of. In dangling, allow it to slowly come out and release. And then gently, let's come into yogic squat. Turn your feet slightly out, coming into a squat position. You can bring your elbows inside of your knees and then palms into prayer position and then press the palms against your heart, your chest. Bring your intention and attention between the eyebrows, your third eye. Whatever thoughts come in your mind, slowly let them go. And let's take your first resting position, lying on your back. And let's relax.
And that's deepening our breath. Let's make your way back up, rolling to the side to come up. Move in a way that doesn't disturb your mind. We're going to find our way to our belly. Preparing for a broken wing. Now, depending, I'm going to put a pillow in front because I like my head to be supported. So you're going to lie down. You're going to reach your right arm out directly yeah, from the shoulders. And then you're going to press your left palm onto the floor and then slowly roll on top of your right shoulder. And this is a chest opening. You can bring that left foot behind you for support. The left hand can be in front to support you as well. Or if you feel very stable, you can wrap that left arm behind your back. Broken wing. Broken wing is a really gentle upper body opening, chest opening. It stimulates the pericardium channel, the protector of the heart. When the pericardium is tightened, we hold on and close our heart. And this leads to a lot of anxiety, fearing how other people think of us. And more importantly, we judge ourselves, thinking badly of ourselves. So I want to share a story with you, and it's about a crow. So this crow is very happy and very content. Until one day, the crow met a swan. The swan is white in color, so the crow thought, ah, oh, this is such a beautiful color. The swan must be happier than me. So the crow went up to the swan and said, you're so beautiful, you must be so happy. The swan responded to the crow and said, well, not really, I met a parrot, and the parrot has two colors, and it can speak, so I'm sure the parrot is happier than me. So the crow decided to go find the parrot and ask, Hey parrot, I see that you have so many colors, and you must be so happy, is that right? And the parrot said to the crow, Well, not really, I saw a peacock. And the peacock has so many more colors than I do. I think the peacock is the happiest. So the crow went to the zoo and found a peacock. He asked the peacock, Peacock, you have so many people admiring you at the zoo. You must be so happy. Well, the peacock looked at the crow and said, You know, I have so many colors but I'm trapped inside. I thought the other day, a crow is free in the sky. It can do whatever it wants. A crow must be the happiest. The moral of the story is that no matter what we think, we compare ourselves and we realize that the person who is the happiest is the person who is most comfortable with who they are. So let's slowly releasing broken wing. You can lie down on your belly, release your right arm. So let's reach your left arm out this time. And then we're gonna slowly peel the body onto the left side. Again, you can bring your right foot behind you. Your right hand can be in front supporting the body. Or you can even place the right hand behind. If you can kind of touch the fingertips, you can as well.
And when you're ready, let's roll back onto your belly. So instead of a traditional final shavasana resting pose, I'm going to invite you to rest in child's pose. So you can bring your pillows onto your lap, have your knees slightly apart, and then just cradle the pillow and take your final rest. And then slowly rolling up. Let's take a moment, palms facing up. Letting go of self-judgment will release you from the constraints you put on yourself and invite a new sense of freedom where you appreciate who you really are. Namaste. Thank you so much for doing Yin Yoga to connect within with me. I hope you enjoy today's lesson. Have a wonderful day.